Item number, SCP-543. Object class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. Access to SCP-543 is restricted to staff with Level 2 clearance. Detailed observation of SCP-543 has thus far been restricted to Class D personnel. Description SCP-543 is a collection of 4-hour VHS videotapes from various manufacturers. Total length of tape is hours. All tapes viewed so far appear to be noise or snow recorded from an empty analog television channel. However, those who watch the tapes for long enough are able to discern an image. See Addenda 543-1 and 543-2. Discovery SCP-543 was found in a single room apartment in the building in The room contained a 38.1 cm analog television set with rabbit ears set top antenna. Television was tuned to the gap between local stations. And Antenna was attached to a tangle of wires that filled the entire room from floor to ceiling, except for a small area in front of the television. SCP-543 was stacked along the walls and strewn on the floor. In front of the television was the apartment's tenant. Adult male, deceased. Head was buried in the television. He had rammed it through the glass screen himself and died of electrocution. Signs of extreme malnutrition. Evidently, after filling the room with wires, he was unable or unwilling to remove any, confining himself to a smaller and smaller space. Body surrounded by food wrappers and excrement. Body was discovered by building's landlord after continued non-payment of rent. Police dismantled antenna structure to retrieve the body. Examination of crime scene photos and investigation of his behavior show the wires were placed in four stages over the past couple of days before his death. Stage 1. Coat hangers attached to antenna with scotch tape. 12 hours of VHS tape. Stage 2. Reel of 6-gauge wire and duct tape purchased from local hardware store. 7 hours of tape. Stage 3. Waste wire scavenged from construction sites. Had lost his job at due to persistent absenteeism. Three hours of tape. Stage four. Apartment ransacked. Springs removed from mattress. Appliances dismantled for wiring. Exits blocked. One tape, unlabeled, found in the VCR by police. Addendum 543-1. Summary of SCP-543 Observation Logs D-671 Personnel D-671 was given a random selection of tapes, 65 hours in total, viewed in chronological order with VCR and television of the same model as Rats. Steel mesh fitted over screen as a precaution. In tapes made during Stage 1, D-671 identified the image as unremarkable TV noise. Later. She claimed to discern an image and requested that it be tuned in. In Stage 2 tapes, instead of a two-dimensional wall of snow, D-671 claimed to see a vast three-dimensional space. She stressed the size of the space, bigger than anything you've seen, bigger than anything ever. Beginning of claustrophobic tendencies. D-671 reported Stage 3 tapes as clearer and sharper. She now claimed to see things occupying the immense space. Whether they were animate, or indeed whether they were entities or events, is unclear. Once again, she emphasized their size, becoming agitated when interviewers, quote, did not get it, end quote. Severe claustrophobia, anxiety, night terrors. After viewing 12 minutes of the final, unlabeled tape, D-671 attempted to remove the mesh over the screen, stripping three fingernails and breaking her nose before being restrained. Currently isolated in four-point restraints. Cooperates with interviewers, but answers are repetitive. See Addendum 543-2. Addendum 543-2. Partial transcript of interview with D-671. 10-15 hours. Date expunged. Doctor, 
Why did you do it? D-671. Because here isn't big enough. Not when you've seen there. Doctor. Big enough for what? D-671. Pause. Why do you think the TV can see them? Doctor. Silence. D-671. Because they're everywhere. They're all through us. And we're not big enough. And it hurts. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-542, Herr Chirurg, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.